went to start hit record and I was making the funniest face and sometimes I don't know what my brain is doing and it just hit the shutter and I just took like five photos of me going like this. <laughs> Those will be fun to look at when I upload all of this. Are you focused? Are you, you better focus because this is, this is a really good intro. I'm excited to get it off my chest because I've been trying to sit here and start it and I sometimes I really struggle to get things going. You guys, it is the weekend or the week leading up to Vlogmas. I don't do the daily Vlogmas thing and Vlogmas is huge uh, in the UK. I wish that it was as big here as it is in the UK. They really go all out with the Vlogmas stuff and I can't keep up with daily vlogging. I actually much prefer it when it's like a week because I feel like I miss out on so much because I can't watch all of my favorite vloggers every single day and keep up. And I know they don't expect that, but it's a little much when everyone's doing it and they're all your favorites. My whole like YouTube is just completely <laughs> saturated with daily vlogs. My stomach is growling so loud. It sounds like a monster. And somebody is cutting down a tree and wood chipping. So it's really loud. If you can hear that, nothing gets me more festive than hanging out with my family. And every Thanksgiving we try. We're going to Oregon. We leave tomorrow, early tomorrow morning. We're going to take my car, my new car. So I need to clean it out. I got a new seat for the back, a, co a new cover for the back seat for the dogs. Festive nails. I was thinking harvest. So I just went on Canva, typed in Thanksgiving, and it brought up all of these Thanksgiving prints. And so I just copied the Canva and it's a, it's like little acorns with leaves, if you can tell. I've had some coffee already, but I'm gonna have another and some pumpkin bread and then we've gotta get going. Been chipping away at the old pumpkin bread. Here's a little look at the apple butter and it totally has the apple butter consistency after resting, which I was pleasantly surprised. It was so good. Words cannot describe with my little autumnal acorn nails, you guys. Is this thumbnail potential? Cowgirl gone Christmas. Oh no. Oh no. No, my vintage Louie. Obviously, this would be repairable, but how tragic. I was just talking about Christmas. Uh, here's my outfit. <laughs> I look like a country Mrs. Claus. Is that it? Well, uh, oh, I was gonna show you this. So I, I've got things kind of piled up over here so I don't forget it, my vitamins. And then this is actually a print I have to take to a local framer. We're putting some artwork up in the bedroom. This has been on pre-order for months now and we were so excited to finally see it arrive in the mail, but it's going in the big spot in the bedroom. And it's gonna go right here. So we have already measured out the spot, if you can see a square. And so this is where the frame will go with the matting. And it's a print of a woman laying on a chaise lounge surrounded with dogs and she's fully tattooed. And the guy is known for doing tattooed greyhounds and his artwork is just really cool. Tattoo artists do a lot of regular art. They can also do print work and they're great people to commission for really unique art for your house. Start following them on social media and they'll usually share prints that are available that you can purchase from them. And that's what we've been doing. So that's a print from an art tattoo artist. This was commissioned. The one in the bedroom is gonna be a print from a tattoo artist. So all of the artwork is tattoo artist, but not tattoo art, if you get what I mean. Okay, well, I went to the frame place. The place that we go to is called Tacoma Framers and they are so good. Like she knew right away what to grab to make the frame perfect for what we're looking for. I'm gonna just put in a couple of photos so you can see the print. I took a photo of it because she had it all like laid out with the stones on it so that you can see the whole thing. So I got a picture while it was like that. And then um, I got a photo of the frame with the matting in the corner. 
so you'll be able to see what we're going to do. But we're getting that um, artwork framed, so by the time we get back from our trip, it should be pretty much ready, and it'll be so exciting. So here's what we got provision-wise, just to celebrate with everybody and not feel left out. <laughs> if you are somebody who wants to partake, but doesn't want to partake, you know what I'm saying. I love myself some red wine with a turkey dinner or a festive dinner of some sort. So I am gonna bring this for Thanksgiving day and this is alcohol removed wine. This I'm gonna take to my dad's for the following day. I think we're doing like Thai food. Then I've got the Wilderton Botanical Spirit. This is peppercorn, pine smoke tea, cardamom. This is gonna go with the eggnog, but uh, we're also getting a hazy IPA non-alcoholic beer. That's for my husband. Um, I don't really drink any beers as much in the winter time. That's more to me of like a summertime with the frosty mug thing. But you know what? If we play some pool, this might be nice. The good old fashioned diaper bag. You guys, if you've been here for a while, you'll know that I use a designer diaper bag for my dogs. I've always wanted a reason to buy a designer diaper bag. I would be that mother, you know? So this is a Marc Jacobs diaper bag I got thrifting. So I put shirts and sweaters and raincoats, extra leashes, poo bags, their food, their water dishes, all, all that good stuff all goes in here and it's all just the dog bag and we know it as the dog bag bag and it's really nice for water bottles too and all that so i just i swear by it if you have a dog and you travel with your dog get a diaper bag i might grab just a few more pieces of jewelry and put this in here and we have our travel makeup and backup maxi never have too many backup maxis just in case you never know have some like walking sunglasses these are my favorite ones i had these fixed recently because they the screw came off there's a lot of preparation <laughs> to get me to go i need to go get my pills i have beta blockers i need to go get those and make sure those are in my purse one of the things we did in the emdr is that she gives you an object that you can consider to be a safe space for you and then they we did the eye rapid movement that moves on the screen as you're imagining your safe space. So no matter where you're at, you can go to your safe space. So this is mine. It's a necklace of citrine. And um, that's what I decided to make my safe space because it's something I can wear and always have on me. So this definitely has to go tomorrow on. I need to make sure I'm wearing it. I need to put it somewhere where I don't forget. I don't want to put it, I guess I could put it on top of my clothes. Oh, well look at your little furry cover and your seat belts. That's working out perfectly. Somebody's already slept very hard. <laughs> she took a big nap. <laughs> you guys are both so tired. You need to sleep. You need to sleep. Uh, we got a, my alarm went off at 5, 5.30 a.m. It's blurry, hang on. We had, we've had coffee. I've had kava. I forgot the one thing that my therapist has been working on me with, which is my necklace that's supposed to like keep me chill and I forgot it. I had it, I actually was so intent on remembering it that I set it up on an area so that I saw it and I still forgot it. <laughs> it's so annoying. Anyway, husband's coming. We're leaving, hitting the road. It's raining. Yay. Uh, are you serious? You didn't love it? Whenever I pass through small towns on a highway, I like to imagine what it's like to live there. You know that everybody knows everybody. I picture a family having dinner around the table. What are they eating? What are they talking about? 
Maybe they have The Simpsons on in the background on the TV. What's it like being a kid in a town like this? Riding bikes to the corner store to buy some candy with the change left in your pockets? Heading home past the old car junkyard? The air is cold and smells like burning firewood. It's fun to imagine what it's like to live in these small towns. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Who's this? <laughs> There's a baby teen. A baby teen. Going in here. She's a lady. It's okay. It's okay. Good girl. You're so warm. <laughs> I don't think I've even gotten to do a catch up yet, but I was about to do. I look crazy. <laughs> I was about to do my makeup and get ready for the day. I'm going to show you my Thanksgiving Day outfit. So excited <laughs> with this. I can't remember what I've updated. We got in at like one yesterday. The drive was so amazing. It was so peaceful. And not a lot of holiday traffic, which I was really expecting it to be awful and it wasn't. So set your bar really low for a good time and you will be pleasantly surprised. We actually played this game the whole way that's called, are you smarter than a kindergartner? We <laughs> found out that we're very much not as smart as kindergartners. We didn't even know all of the colors in a rainbow because we forgot indigo. One of the questions was how many teeth does an adult have? At the same time that I was going with my tongue, I look over my husband's driving and he's going, <laughs> we were sitting there counting teeth. And we looked at each other and just started crying. It was hilarious. We actually laughed the entire way here. So that was really like good for the anxiety, you know? This is my Thanksgiving outfit. I thought I would share it because I think it's cool. I look like a Thanksgiving table setting. <laughs> I am the turkey. So I'm wearing my Honey Love faux leather leggings. I love them so much because they're super stretchy and comfortable. And I think the football game is on or the Thanksgiving parade in New York. So we're gonna do one of those two things. You can hear them. Marvin's like, where's he at? He's pretty high. <laughs> I thought that was a cat that was like frozen. <laughs> Yeah, the Shih Tzu won. Aww, Good girl. Yay. That's a baby Tina. Oh my gosh. Ah, that looks so good. Birds cannot describe how delicious that smells. <laughs> I'm like the dad on Christmas story. hands off it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, it's tough to be done. Is it? It's supposed to be 180. This is 195. Oh my gosh, that cooks it quick. That is, I, we need one of these. <laughs> mm, yum. I love these little silver so nice. nice it looks delicious thank you for cooking 
Yummy, you might have felt the taste. <laughs> this lady is, has a huge joint on the roof. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's great. Kiki's. Little Kiki, Kiki's. Hi, Kiki. Why are you hanging out at this shed? Oh my god, there's oh. cat food below it. Marvin? Hey, dude. I hit a pothole, that's why he went flying. This is why he has seat belts. You sit back there. You stay. Come here. Heading out, Thanksgiving number two, on our way. Through the countryside to my dad's, I couldn't stop thinking about the reflection of the trees on the water and just how beautiful it is that it looked like a painting. There wasn't a single speck of breeze, so it was like smooth glass. And I started to reflect a little bit on what I wanna do here. What am I doing with these videos? What am I doing with everything I create? It dawned on me that I want to reflect inspiration too. I really want to share the artistic and crafty side of myself. Time away with family can really help you reflect on your goals. It's an opportunity for a reset. I hope you're excited for what I intend to make and share with you this season. Stopped at our favorite spot. Oh, keys. Our favorite elk spot with no elk. <laughs> this is like the elk viewpoint, but no elk apoos. Do you see any? We were originally going to find like a little town to stop off in, but we got a late start and we started to just worry that we were gonna be getting to my dad's too late. We didn't want to eat into time with him. So we're actually thinking about doing it on our way home tomorrow instead, so. You know, it's always nice to have a little extra stuff to add here to the videos because when I'm traveling and it's family involved, it's it's about that. It's about like the time I'm having with them and less about trying to like get the video stuff go. I just, I don't know, it was hard to focus on it. I definitely, uh, definitely, creepy car <laughs> hurry up get in the car husband anyway I definitely hope we can do something tomorrow found them look at all those over there wow look at the baby elks dad's music room and the cozy fire and his exercise stuff this is such a dad room <laughs> good morning I'm actually uh, getting ready for the day so my hair is still wet just took a shower we came in yesterday afternoon and just relaxed and hung out and chatted with my dad and his wife Leslie and had some salmon Baja style tacos that my dad made and then we went and got in the jacuzzi and watched the sunset from the jacuzzi the moon was like directly in front of us it was so relaxing we were like I think we need to get a jacuzzi <laughs> so it's something on our wish list for sure it was just so nice and it's cold out but the jacuzzi keeps you warm and so you get to enjoy the outdoors while being extremely cozy and we had some non-alcoholic coronas i think we're gonna actually do the exact same thing tonight we're gonna get in the jacuzzi and just relax we also watched the new melissa mccarthy movie genie it was a very family like for kids almost movie but we still enjoyed it it was really it was kind of wholesome and funny but today we're gonna go for a walk along the beach which the Oregon coast is known for its beaches I'm just getting ready for the day I did my no makeup makeup I've got really bad bags under my eyes I don't know if it's the lighting or I'm just tired I just 
go to sleep late but I still wake up early with everyone so the past three days I've just been getting up earlier than I should but just because the house is awake the dogs are barking and there's really no avoiding it so it will be nice to get back on Monday and just sleep I have a dental appointment to get my teeth cleaned I think on that Monday is that already yes that's on Monday so um, but that'll be good to <laughs> get my teeth cleaned after all of this pie eating we had pecan pie last night pumpkin pie the night before i'm sure we'll have pecan pie again tonight which was my first time ever having it i realize i've never had pecan pie before this was my first one and i'm a fan it was so good <laughs> anyway i'm gonna finish getting ready and we're gonna hit the beach here pretty soon this is everybody loaded up <laughs> ready to go for a beach walk these two know the drill we do this every day You need to do the night charging like I do. <laughs> Look at that button. Look at that button. Whoa, the waves down there look pretty massive. That's crazy. Good weights. Good weights. Okay. <laughs> you see him walk up to that one tiny log and raise his leg on it. Good morning we are getting ready to leave it is the lighting here it gives me the worst bags either that or i've been turning on my camera really early in the morning when i'm not completely awake and neither are my eyes anyway yeah so we're gonna do that head out pack up we got up kind of early i just heard people in the house so it just woke me up and i knew i needed to check my phone and see what time it was to make sure we didn't sleep too late gonna be a nice breezy trip home well as far as the weather as far as the drive traffic not too sure about that so I don't think we're gonna be doing any stopping and we didn't even take the 101 but you know what we did that when we went to California recently we got our fix we just wanted to start heading towards Washington it's a peace stop peace stops are updates it's so beautiful though we're going through country farms and it's my favorite drive. I love going through the countryside and looking at all the sheep and the misty mist rolling in over all of the farmhouses. Marvin's freaking out because he thinks that we are stopping somewhere for him. <laughs> and um, he's gonna be rudely awakened when he realizes that this is a gas station and nothing around here has grass. It's also 28 degrees so everything is covered in frost. But yeah, good drive. It's been really nice. It's been really pleasant. We went through all of these farmlands where the pines and the grass were covered in a white frost and a really deep, thick fog rolled through for half the drive. It was so peaceful and calming. I put on good music, sat back, and really enjoyed it. You'll be happy to know that my agoraphobia issues were all manageable on this journey thanks to 
therapy. I drove the entire ride home over two bridges and through insane traffic, and it was an absolute breeze, but more on that in the coming week. We will have some really festive content coming for weekly Vlogmas. Can't wait to see you then.